Too much to pay. My family, my children, my mother can hold her head up in any neighborhood in the city where she walks down the block. See? In all the five boroughs, I'm known. Forget about it. I just wanted me a jump shot till I wanted me a dumb knot. Cop the ball us up in the awesome party with the last paycheck that McDonald's tossed me. I'ma run it up. Sting game, if it stop, get I'm running up. Dots throwing shots cause I'm coming up. 40 second hundred block, where it's going up. Go ahead with your plot if you dumb enough. What up, world? It's your boy, BA for Real 100, and welcome to Get Your Bars Up Media. Salute, salute, salute. Uh, so, today we got a special, very, very special guest representing that Northwest. One of the best to ever come out of Oregon. The nigga that be talking his shit. A legend, y'all. Young Nate, what it do, brethren? What's up, fam? I appreciate you opening your platform for me. And you know what I'm saying? Let's let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Whatever they want to talk about, whatever you want to talk, let's talk about it, bro. That's I love talking. So let's talk about it, bro. Shit. So um uh if, for the people that 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 haven't heard of you, because you're I mean, everybody knows you up here in the Northwest. Uh tell us right. a little bit about your uh about your background in battle rap specifically. Okay, well, all right, so I started battle rapping. Probably, well, when I was 16, I went to prison. When I was 16 years old, I went to prison. That's when I started battle rapping. My first battle was actually at, at JDH. Uh, when I was in juvenile, that was my first oh, rap shit. battle ever was in juvenile. <laughs> and it was actually it was actually against a guard. What? Guards battling? Yeah, so what? Rapping, this is a true story. This is what got me in battle rapping. So I, I used to write poetry, right? Yeah. And then the homie was like, you should rap. Your shit is bars. You just got to put it. He showed me how to put it in bars. So I started rapping with him. So we had the table at, in Juvie. And I, I, I'm insecure. I'm new rapping. Like, I'm rapping. And the guard dude come up to me and he say, he say, man, he say, man, you ain't, you ain't black. You ain't supposed to rap to me, right? I said, I said, man, look, I bet I write a rap about you that's fire, right? And he was like, Okay, I'll make you a deal. You gonna write a rap about me. You and your homie gonna come into the office. You get to rap your rap at me. But if it's not good, you go into the hole. But if it's good, I'll let you live. I said, all right, all right, bet. So I went up there, wrote, wrote, a, wrote a round, one rounder fire, came in there, spit my shit. He was like, actually, bro, you was pretty good, bro. I gotta give you your respect. And that's kind of like where my battle rap shit started. Then I got, and then I got out and I did a battle at a club called the Copper Penny in Portland. It was the King of the Mic. It was sponsored by Bo. And I was in the tournament, right? And um, and we battled, and I won the whole tournament, right? And so that's what kind of out, outside of the penitentiary, that was my first actual real battle. Like, I mean, I battled hella people on the street corners and all that shit, but like a real battle, that was the first one. So then not too long after that, Immaculate started Grind Time Northwest. And yeah. so when me and him had already battled in the town, he, bam, hit me. Hey, man, I've got this thing going. And at first I told him no. I was like, man, I'm cool, bro. Like, oh, like, what the fuck is YouTube? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, this is real. Like, this is so long ago that it's like, he talking about YouTube. I'm like, what the fuck is YouTube, you know? So then, so then one day I'm scrolling and I see a 90M old bat, like one of the first Grind Time Northwest battles, right? I think it was him versus Mike Phenom. And I seen, I was like, when I looked at the view count, that shit was like, I, it had just dropped. It was already at like 10,000. Man, I flipped up the old flip phones, flipped that shit open, called the Immaculate back right away. Like, hey, man, I need a battle, bro. And then, so that's, then I got into grind time and I battled a few. I battled 90M, Mike Phenom, H-Bomb, yeah. a cat from Sacramento. His name was XT The Factor. And then, um, I don't know, uh, and then I was supposed to battle Fox from SONS, Conceited's partner, and then me and him got into a little thing on camera, and then I was buzzing, though, at that time in grind time, like, we got to a little, uh, 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 right? It was like, he sounded like you when I hit him, uh, when I hit him, though. But look, so, but look, so then I ended up catching another case, okay. right? And I went back to prison. So then this time when I was in prison, I battled him gang of times right in prison then i came out of prison after i did four years 
and I for robbery and I came out of prison and then I like had a couple local little battles that wasn't really shit with this dude named Champagne James. You ever seen Janky Promoters? Yeah, yeah, definitely. He should have been on there. That's what the dude footage never dropped. Dude should have been on. Dude should have been on Janky Promoters, bro. Champ shout out Champagne James. You still got two of my battles. I need those. But look, and then uh, and then uh, Janky Mike Benam actually hit me up. It was like, hey, bro, you trying to battle? I'm like, yeah. And at that time, ABL um, was still popping. I, like, So they went through a little part where they wasn't throwing a lot of battles, and AHAT Northwest was was big, right? Yeah. At that time, it was like right before they kind of went kind of quiet for a little bit, right? Yeah. Shout out to ABL. Shout out Boomer. At that time, it was it was Big Dre and Simi that was running it over there at that time. So, um, so but Mike Phenom was like, you should battle Looms. So I was like, I looked up his shit. He had a couple battles. I was like, all right, I, he, he's nice. I'll take wounds. That's a cool battle. And um, But we were deciding if we were going to do it on ABL or um, AHAT Northwest. And then um, Mike Fanon was like, basically like, you should do it with AHAT Northwest because ABL is kind of going through some stuff. Uh, but if they was on the high, I would say go there. But I think AHAT's the better move right now. So he got Definitely. me in contact with Rome. And Rome booked me versus Looms. And then the A-Hat was history. Then I just started coming on A-Hat. And shit, shit. Took my place mat and tongue came to the table and put my shit right where the king's chair was, right? Yeah. Put my silverware out and shit. And I just started eating the A-Hat. Like, simple. Like, A-Hat Northwest was young Nates. Can't nobody say nothing different. Shout Thanks. out to Rome. Hush, hush was there at the time. Um, and, and Solo, rest in peace, Solo. They, them was the ones running. They, that, they were Ahab. That's Ahab. But what I'm saying as far as battle rappers, that shit was mine, bro. Yo. I, it was mine. You see, you seen that? You seen Recess, the cartoon? Yeah, uh, man, of course. You know, like when the older, the sixth grader or whatever, the king of the playground and they carry him around <laughs> on that thing, like the thing, that's how they did me in Ahab. Yeah, they would carry me around the venue on one of those. Like that's how it was when I was <laughs> there. So boys, so, were, so, yeah, boys, so, yeah, shout out. Hey, those were some, good, those were some good days. And then, but at the same time, people, a lot of people don't know this, and a lot of people locally, they don't want to give me my credit for this. But in and in that same breath, I was getting four MCs by MCs popping. I battled Stewie and four yeah. MCs. Me and Stewie Newton was on four MCs platform. Like, and I had, I probably have nine or 10 battles over there for MCs. So like at the same time, I, I, they brung Immaculate here. I battled only one, like, like it was popping. Shout out Heretic and four MCs is, is the grassroots league in the Northwest to me for like the, like if you were going to say like, I don't know, like underground music, like un underground battle rap is four MCs by MCs. So, so at the same time, I'm, I, I'm over there getting that shit popping. And then we started a hat organ and yeah. the um, HC1 happened and all that ordeal happened. And then that's where kind of was the last you kind of heard from young Nate yeah. until I just came back and battled MT money. And then now I got a few things in the works booked, but you know what I'm saying? Let's see. Let's see. Stewie Patron. Maybe Patron is not the same one, but I had a PG versus uh, versus uh, Ron Compton before anybody else besides maybe Patron and Stu. Like, I had a PG, went to Cali, battle Ron Compton, took A-Hat Northwest to the championship of the A-Hat tourney. Ah. In the middle of that, like, people, people don't even give me this credit right here. In the middle of battling through that whole tournament, I still was taking Patron in between battles, D-Goods in between battles, um, it was it was more people. I was take D Fly was in there at that time. Like yeah. I bat, I was battling all the heavyweight dudes in between taking battling four times to go to the championship. They robbed me in the championship. I beat I beat Dre Vicious. Shout out Dre Vicious. I'ma still feel like I won. You know what I'm saying? The fan the fan vote was was a landslide in in Young Nate's favor. But anyways, it don't matter. Shout out Dre Vicious. That's my guy. Congrats on the baby. I love. Him. That's my guy. Me and Dre tight. But I beat you, homie. Look, look. So look. So then. So basically, that's where it's at right now. I'm just trying to come back in. I already know. I, I'm in debt to the Northwest scene. So. I owe the scene 
a lot. So I'm just trying to pay back what I owe. Period. That's that's the the thing that's super crazy. That's why we're bro. here today. The thing that's super crazy, bro, is I I remember like I I watched you years ago, before I was even before I even started looking at North yeah. or what Northwest Battle Rap scene, and I'm like, where has this guy been? Where has this guy been? Then I started seeing you pop up here and there on uh, on Facebook talking your shit like you do because you be trolling a bunch of people. You do, <laughs> but uh, yeah. outside but uh, outside of that, man, yeah, I um I like I. I mean, people like myself, a lot of people don't like to admit, but you are like one of the forefathers of this of this Northwest battle rap scene, bro. Hold on. I like to, to say it like this, like I don't I don't need no accolades or no kudos for what I did, but I, I'm really the only one besides Immaculate, but I put him like in a god category when it comes to this battle rap shit. Right. Like he was king of the dot champion, like like no matter what I do, I'm not catching the immaculate. That's the dude. Like nothing but respect. I actually just talked to immaculate. Shout out to immaculate. That's my guy. That's the way I just talked to him. But uh, but uh, no, it's like I was the only one really that came that was able to come out of the grind time era and still transcend. Hush hush too. Hush hush too. He he came out of the grind time era, but I think he only had one uh grind time battle. Like I. Have four or five grind time battles like i came out of that era and was able to transcend to the new era and still be a factor a lot of a lot of people can't do that they you know what i mean like they can't battle the young cats and win they can't that's a fact that so i just like to say this when they come to battle rapping i might not got the most bars i might not got the most creative schemes but when you come to battle young nate you i'm gonna talk to you it's gonna be a Fight and you can't. People can't tell me a battle that I clearly lost. That's a fact. That's Every a fact. battle's debatable. They, like, they, like people say I lost. I'm not saying people say, but you can't clearly say that I lost. Every I, king debatable if you want to say that, but I you can't say. Tell me a battle that you clearly lost, and then we're gonna have uh, B A watch it, and we're gonna really see if you beat me. That that's a that's a fact because I'll, I'll get you a challenge for anybody I've ever battled. Yo, I, I'm not gonna front that MT money battle. A lot of people are like MT clearly like I, I've heard some people, not a lot, but I heard a few people say, Yeah, clear he clearly he clearly beat Nate. Nah, nah, to keep it one hundred, that, that battle, that battle, man. I like I tell everybody, we all won with that one. Both of y'all came with it, and yo ass. Was talking. MT was talking, but you was talking too. It was cr ah! I'm, not, I'm not mad at anybody saying that MT Money won. Like I respect that. But if you say he clearly won without no debate, then I can't respect your battle rap. Uh, how you feel about battle rap? I just can't. It's yeah. you can say he won, but if you say he clearly beat me, nah, bro. He know he ain't clearly beat me. Ask him. Facts. Facts. Ask him. But but. But no, the, the where battle rap is right now in the Northwest is good, man. Where we at right now. I I, I like I like the, the young talent coming in. We ain't had young talent for a long time, fam, in the Northwest. Yeah, that's right. Like, I can't good. remember the last time we had four or five guys, or maybe not young talent, but new talent. New talent, definitely. definitely. New talent. New talent. Because, like, we haven't – it's. It's been, if you really look at it, it's really been the, the same guys holding it down for a lot of years. That's a fact. Stewie, been in this for a lot of years. Hit, been in this for a lot of years. J even Jay been in this for a lot of years. Patron been in this for a lot of years. Heretic, a lot of years. Everybody I'm naming, a lot of years, bro. That's a fact. Like, we're, we need the new talent. They, they, they need to push us the fuck up out of here is what they need to do. They need to have us sitting next to you doing media. Man, I'm I'm trying. People don't like to promote these days, bro. Battle rappers don't like to promote. They like to be cool and think that just being cool gonna get them to places. But hey, I try to I try to get them on the platform. But you know how people be. But uh, I appreciate you for coming on, though. Definitely, bro. Yeah, I mean, I mean, what what else? What else are will we be here for other than to promote? Facts. Talk, man. Why would you? Why would you be on the page? Look, maybe for a little bit of entertainment, like not to give away nothing, but everything I post on the page is in a way 
me promoting myself. It'd be real shit, but it's me promoting my real shit. Like, that's how I feel about Stas. He took shots at me. Uh, dang it, she made a track about me. Yeah. Am I mad? No, that's rap shit, bro. I don't gotta say nothing. I go straight to the straight to the ring and talk about it. That's where I get I don't the you they need to they use the internet to talk about what they should talk about in the battle. Talk to these young fellas, bro. You need to save all those angles and put them in your rounds. You know what I'm saying? Like, use the page to promote. And if promoting is cracking jokes or whatever, everything is promotion. Thanks. Thanks. Everything is promotion. People can't, people can't say Nate didn't promo himself. Bro, I was the first one really going live from the passenger seat, talking my shit. Like, bro, like, it's a lot of things. We just, we just, we just going to. You know, like we'll breeze past that, but but anyways, but that but the page they should be promoting. They should be promo. If you have a battle coming up, as soon as my next battle gets released, I'm gonna be promoing that battle, bro. Especially now where there's no crowds or or there's allowed twenty people or whatever. You're not rapping for the twenty people that bought the ticket, bro. You're rapping for whether there's a pay per view or whatever no. platform that that thing is going to go on. Like, you're not rapping for them, bro. Like, what? So, so if there's a pay-per-view, I'm promoting the battle in every page I'm in, everything, everywhere, because that they don't have to come to Washington to watch this battle. They can just go and, and go on the pay-per-view and watch the battle. The only way battle rappers are going to be able to tell the leagues, hey, man, I want a part of the pay-per-view, is if we make the pay-per-view pop. How can they how can they give us any money off the pay-per-view if there ain't no money in the pay-per-view? Because you ain't getting people to go buy the pay-per-view. Because you're like, oh, I'm not giving them no more money. No, well, you got to build leverage. We bring in all this pay-per-view money. We need a cut of the money. I'm sure that people like Boomer, Rome, and Heretic would have no problem cutting a motherfucker in if they was bringing in revenue. You hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Uh, you're kind of low, but I can kind of hear you. All right. Yeah, like, so, so for instance, my run through the AHAC tourney was all because the people in the Northwest went and voted for me. They went and posted my battles everywhere. Shout out Kelly. Shout out Michael DePlices. Shout out... Um, it's a lot of people that they don't even know. These people will ride for you if you do if if you if you do right by the Northwest. Like they you can like they they look at people and oh they say they do this or they say this. I look at people at what what they can do as an asset. They can help you as long as you are helping them and all they want you to do is rap. That's it. That's it. That's all, bro. That's all. So for you young fellas, show up there, prepared. For you, for you young fellas out there, I hope y'all got y'all pins and y'all pad out, uh, out right now because Nate is talking to y'all. He's giving y'all the game. This is somebody that's been there and done that and still doing it. So I hope y'all listening. But my bad, Nate. You're good. You're good. And for, and for the people, the people that are, there's going to be people out there that be like, oh, Nate did this and he no-showed this and he did this. I can understand what you're talking about, but I've been through this game from the beginning before when the YouTube was just popping and, and we was figuring out how, how to monetize our views. And we was, and we was, me and Immaculate been talking about this shit for since, since 08, 09, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you can say what you want, I know so, but I've been here from the start and I'm still here. And it wouldn't matter if it was a new guy, a middle guy or a vet, they can't beat me. So it you so so I apologize to the scene right now on BA Get Your Bars Up Media for all the no showing and all that shit right now. That was my bad. I got that shit out the way. I'm here now. I'm coming every time I'm booked. You could count on that. If at last I came to MT Money Battle Dolo. Ah, talk. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Dolo. And I was the, damn near the last person to leave you can ask anybody it was dark when i left i didn't even know where the freeway was uh, so, so but yeah but go ahead you got any que any more questions sir oh, definitely definitely all right, all right, all right. Board. uh so with um so people for the people out there 
it's a lot of people out there that like to start stuff, right? They like to talk shit. They like to start be messy. And uh, you got some people saying that you have an issue with uh, with the young up and comer, uh, spasmatic prince. Is this true? No, I never. I mean, I never had an issue with spaz. Just a rat, just some rat shit. Yeah, definitely. definitely. I had, a, I, has, I had an issue with him on this rat shit. You know what I'm saying? You made a track. You made a track. It's a well-known fact. I don't do music. I had a, I had a, I'm, oh man, you lucky I didn't release that neither because you got hit with some ricochets on that one because you was riding on, you was a horseman at that time. So, 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 but there was a, there was a, a, a thing recorded. I never released it because, because I already know how they get dealt. Whether, what people can say what they want. Me and Hush, we, we, me and Hush is me and Hush. We've been dealing and doing business for, a long time together. We didn't we didn't talk shit to each other. We argue all the time. So I already know if I dropped that, they would have flooded a hundred diss tracks, bro. It would have been it, it would have been crazy. <laughs> it would man and and, and I was just shooting at everybody. So even even uh even Cash Gordon might have caught a ricochet. You know what I'm saying? So it was like it it, it was it would have been bad. So I chose not to do it. So just on some rap shit and I chose to just address it in my rounds against MT Money because they announced that they were zoo lights so it just kind of exactly. worked out perfect it worked out perfect so now i just addressed it in the battle instead of dropping that but it was always just some rap shit i don't got no issue with spaz i actually the video looks how it looks but like i actually don't think spaz is like still in bars like that bro like i really like i mean and bro a lot of people steal bars bro Verbatim. a lot of people bars and nobody ever do shit about it so i'm not trying to like now y'all want to push an issue bro like you like what but look but beyond that beyond that he got they tried to they try to get spaz and i shout out charlie charlie asked that because he's supposed to apply pressure like that he's supposed to do that i'm not even mad at him he's supposed to apply pressure like that so they but they applied the pressure on spaz they was on his they he, he and he came out and from what I heard, he did his thing against hip. That's what you're supposed to do. You just rap. So now I got respect for him. So now I got to look at him a little differently. So now, now if and when that battle ever happens, I got to look at him like like a real threat. Definitely. Definitely. I look, my bad, I got a call. But I got to look at Spaz like a real threat because, I mean, he might be with the shit. He might got it. You know what I'm saying? So, no, I don't have no real issues with spaz but on some rap shit he might gotta stand across from me one day you know what i'm saying that might gotta happen just on some rap shit but it's yeah. love and respect outside of all that like you know what i mean it's nothing yeah. no real beef i have no real beef with anybody within the battle rap scene <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. dasani yeah. is a clown but outside of that outside of that outside of outside of the drunken uh rapping the drunken rapper uh I don't have a problem with nobody, bro. Like, to me, I want to see all them win. I think some of y'all are terrible, but that's for another topic. But but it is what it is. I got love for everybody. It's never – but as far as Spaz go, nah, man, it's all love and respect. I hope he gets keeps climbing before I – you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So, speaking of, uh, speaking of the horsemen. Right, right. Speaking of the horsemen, you already know what's coming, bro. You already know what's coming. Um <laughs> So I recently did an interview with Cash Gordon and Cash was uh, saying that you were the original horseman, that you were one of the original horsemen to start it. Talk to the people, talk to me and the people about this, bro. I, I want to know, I want to know the specifics, how specific that you can get in talking about this. All right, look, 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 shout out Cash Gordon. First off, off <laughs> the rip, bro. Shout out, Unc. shout out Cash Gordon, right? But look, First of all, if I am, if that is true, right? If I and how he said it was, it was me, Boomer, him, and Hutch, right? Yeah. If it, if that is true that I was an original horseman, wouldn't that mean I birthed all these other horsemen? Ooh. All of them are my sons, then. Ah. Ah. I want my royalties, bro. Yo. So, but, but but look. But to keep it all the way 100, you want to know the real, the VA, I give you the real, the original four horsemen, 
was me, yeah. Demo, Hush, and somebody else that is no longer in the scene. Oh, shit. So Cash wasn't an original horseman? No. That was the original. <laughs> Cash, you got some explaining to do. But no, but not on no, not on no diss like that. Yeah. But okay. he took the horseman and he made it his. Cause like not like not for nothing, but we we was like, all right, that's your you can that's your shit now. You can have it. You do what you do, you promote your guys, and it's all love. But not for nothing. It was and Demo and Hush both know this and they know who the fourth person is. A lot of people probably could figure out who the fourth person was. You know what I'm saying? So 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 but it wasn't cash. So then after that, then the four, then it, then the horseman was me, Hush, Boomer, and Cash Gordon. But it never was really the horseman like that, bro. It was some inbox shit. We was all cool. Me and Boomer was talking about doing a two on two, and then he started adding hella people and shit. And it was like, bro, I went and got that one way ticket. Yeah. <laughs> you hopped on that next thing, smoking out of town. You start. Putting people like Dasani in the, I'm, I can't, bro. You can't. Like, <laughs> Dasani. And Cash is my guy. He'll tell you I told him all this in person. Like when you started putting Uns and Dasani's in your group, that's when it was like, I can't even. I, you know what I'm saying? It's all love to the Horsemen. Like I hope they kill shit. Shout out the Horsemanship Battle League. Like, shout out Cash Gordon, but these is just the real facts. It was some rap shit, but it wasn't nothing really like that. And when he started adding, and I knew they was, like, really going to be a uh, on-the-scene battle rap group. Yeah. Like, they was all, like, I'm looking at, you know, you know, like, when you're on a basketball court, you're taking picks. Like, you, I got him, and then, like, you need one more guy and it's six dudes over there, and you don't know which one to pick, and you're like, oh. Yeah. Like, now he didn't he didn't trim the fat now a little bit you know what i'm saying and added a couple uh uh better rappers yeah because c3 and diverse can both rap that's a fact they both got they can both yeah. rap so so, so he didn't trim the fat and added some more punch so but back then man it was some people i never even heard of bro <laughs> like, you get a car you get a car and you get a car too you telling me he was like Oprah? Little, little lefty Lucy from uh, right outside of Bellingham said he wants to be a horseman. Like, who the f – what? <laughs> so, but shout out Cass because at the end of the day, Cass just be trying to promote them dudes, and he he he, he just want them dudes to win. So, it, whether y'all like Cass or not, you got to you gotta admit that he's entertainment, and when he got a guy, he pushes his guy, bro. That's, 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 that's real. Period. Man. That's real. I agree. Yeah. 100%. I agree. Yeah, from, from all the and all the all ha ha's and the jokes is funny, but like at the root of it, he just want to see his people win. And I'm not. I can't. There's no way I'm a hate on that because I'm win too. Always love for Cass Gordon. He gonna laugh at this shit because he know what I'm about. Thanks. And plus, he don't want no smoke with me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. Bow. Um, so right now in the yeah. Northwest, bro, who uh who would you say are the top five hitters in the Northwest right now representing outside excluding yourself? Jay the Nightwing. Stewie Newton. Jay the Nightwing. <laughs> Stewie Newton. <laughs> I don't. Um, MT money, MT money, no, MT money, MT money. Um, you said five. Damn, you excluding got myself. Yeah, yeah, excluding yourself. Well, damn, you might if you can't think of two more people, put yourself in there. Fuck it. Oh, oh no, no, no. I gotta put hip in there because he just gave the young boy a shot. So that's yeah. that. That means something to me. So hip in that four and five. I have to say. Um, the name I've been hearing all motherfucking day is uh, uh, Sully. Saw Sully. Saw Sully is nice. If you would have seen that performance, bro, Saw Sully, man, I'm telling you, like, ooh, we, he don't even know that he nice yet either. He just yeah. going out there yeah. just talking. 
I, I seen him versus Cash, and I was like, dude, got something over there with that. He got something. I, when I seen him versus Cash, I'm I'm excited to see this footage because uh, they say he left Earth. And King Curtis, my guy, I battled King Curtis. We had a nice one too, so I know what he bring to the ring. So if he's if they say in 3-0, then and he didn't choke. King Curtis didn't choke. He didn't. He didn't choke. He got and two rounds. Yeah, saying three zero. That's wow. That's respect. Like, cause King Curtis is a uh, is is nice, bro. His pen is yeah. He he has a he has a no 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 pun to immaculate. Cause shout out to immaculate, but yeah. his pen is immaculate. Like he's a great yeah. writer for real. Underrated. Yeah, he's nice. He's nice. So, with that being said. When are we gonna uh so when 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 are we expected to see young Nate again in the ring, bro? Okay, so December, I I, I can't release all the details, but end of the year I got a battle booked versus uh I can't say, but y'all like it when it'll drop. A lot of uh uh it's a local cat, so y'all will like this one. Y'all uh for all the Northwest battle rap head cats, they'll like this battle. They they'll like this battle. And then um, you know, I got I got a call, you know what I mean? I was, you know, Smack Ooh. called me. I was getting some head. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Talk. So yeah, all y'all doing auditions and whatnot. I'm just letting y'all know. Y'all going to hear from Young Nate soon on a bigger platform. That's all I'm going to say. That's ah. all I'm going to say. I've been in the grinding. So a lot of stuff going to be released, released soon. But Smack called me. I was getting some head. <laughs> Yo. Y'all heard, heard it here first. My guy is, he's, he's trying to tell y'all something. He's trying to create, he, he created a blueprint. He's trying to get y'all some game. But I want to say um, what, like, what? Because I, I should have asked you this from the beginning, but what made you, like, I know you, you got locked up, but what made you just say, I'm going to really, like, I'm going to do this shit and I'm going to actually set a mark in battle rap? I mean... I don't know, like it just kind of started happening organically. But when I really was like, I'm a really, the, my second bid, I was like, when I get out, I'm a really put an effort in trying to make it somewhere battle rapping. Like I'm a really try, like I'm a, like, it's not going to be a game no more. I'm a, I'm a really try to get on smack. Like that was the goal. Like, to be honest, like, you know, like when you're a kid and playing basketball, like I want to make it to the NBA. Now that I know the, the ins and outs, it's not, oh, I'll be on smack like now. You know what I mean? But when you don't know, and you used to download uh, murder mook battles on LimeWire, and you would wait 13 hours for that motherfucking bar to come across just so you could watch murder no. mook beat like Wheeze or whatever back in the day. Like from, from that point when I seen those battles, I always knew I wanted to battle rap. Like when I line wire them old T Rex versus Uncasa, T Rex versus uh, 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 Miles, like those were those battles were all, all different to me. Serious versus Murder Mook, uh, uh, Rest in Peace Party Artie versus Mook, like those battles made me want to battle rap. But then when I got out the second time, I was like, I'm really gonna try. And I got a PG. Should I rap in front of Beasley? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I took at Northwest to the A Hat Championship. You know what I'm saying? I did a lot with battle rap, so I feel like I reached a lot of my goals. So now I'm just trying to kill some shit. Like this is just like, shit. I'm just trying to kill shit, bro. So if you agree to battle me, I'm just trying to kill shit. I'm just like, you know, I don't have no. I want to be on this platform. I want to be on caffeine. I want to be on kick. No, I just want to kill whoever's standing in front of me. So oh, that's what I'm on. So who are the top three people that that's on your hit list? If you have one, that's a great question. That is a great question. Number, <laughs> hmm, that is a great question, bro. I, like, I really, I really don't have like a like anybody in the Northwest that I really want to like. I got the battle that I who I wanted to battle in December. That was one of them. There, that's number three on my list, right? Yeah, and then. Let me see. Uh, Lex Luthor. Mm. Mr. I battle. Yeah. I don't like that dude. Oh. I don't like that. I don't like that dude. I don't like that dude. And then um, other than that, you know what I'm saying? It's either, you know, hop in the ring or get under the wing. You know what I'm saying? Ah! <laughs> 
Talk. You know. So, my my uh my my final question for you would be, so for the upcoming aspiring battle rapper, right? Um, that's trying to make it and trying to follow the same similar path as you as far as battle rap and making a name for himself. What type of advice would you give him to uh, to to be successful to get his name up? So so the advice I would give to the ones coming up today would be different if I was going to give advice to a younger me though, Definitely. right? Yeah. Because now now really caffeine is giving out money. Like if you want to aspire to be a a top tier battle rapper and be big time, you should be trying to get on caffeine. You should be doing crucible auditions every fucking day. You should be trying to get on caffeine because that's where the battle rap shit is probably going to end up going. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they're the ones that's going to be able to create the revenue to be able to actually pay you to battle rap, right? These other leagues, it's tough that they, they, they pulling at this to even pay themselves. You feel me? So it's like, so it's like, if you want, and so basically, my advice would be, is be professional. Be professional. Be professional. Show up. Be prepared. Kill shit. No drama. Handle your business. Promote. And you, if you're good enough, you'll get where you want to go. Mm. Some of y'all just ain't got it. Some of y'all just ain't got it. You don't, you're not good enough. Your brain can't create shit good enough for you to be anywhere near them dudes that be rapping on that app. But some of y'all got it. Some of y'all got it. And if you're not professional, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're not, you're not at the point where you can be unprofessional like the dudes that are on Smack now. That already made it there, right? Already made it there. You, uh, basically, be professional. If you're professional, show up, show out. Shut shit down. Facts. Facts, bro. Um, and support and show real support. Yeah. Real support. Buy a t-shirt from BA. Buy a t-shirt from Dirt Mouth. Uh, 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 somebody review your battle. Send them 20 bucks on their cash app. Man, man. Hey, y'all hear that? I ain't saying support. Ain't say it, but support, definitely. Support. Like you can ask Rome. In situations where shit was fucked up on my end, I sent through the, the the money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but support, support, support. If we all we could kill each other in the ring, but we should support each other. I really don't want to I it's funny, the little beefs is funny. Like some of that shit is funny, bro. Yeah. But we, we should be able to do it in a way where all the beef is just some battle rap shit. That's a fact. Y'all could clown each other, do all that shit, but like just some battle rap shit. Y'all shouldn't, motherfuckers shouldn't be. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, not, I've got, and this comes from someone who's been on the other side of the coin and done shit at battles, in battles, crazy shit, lost my cool. Like, if you'll never see me do that again, like, it, it, I'm gonna be, I'm trying to be professional from here on out because they know that uh, extra shit ain't gonna get us nowhere, bro. That's a fact. You, I ain't heard. trying to preach. I ain't trying to preach, but you see what the Northwest can do. We we seen it. Stewie been there. Jay is killing it now. I've been there. Patron been all over the place. Heretic been traveled. D Fly had a pistol pulled on him out of town and laughed in the motherfucker face. Like we seen our guys go everywhere and eat hypnosis everywhere he go he eat like we seen it so it's just a matter of getting more people to the bigger audiences and facts so yeah y'all y'all heard him y'all 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 hearing young nate right now he's talking to y'all he's giving y'all some game with that being said um with uh do, do you have anything that you're promoting or you're trying to get out as far as product clothing anything music or whatnot that you want the people to uh, to know about? Not at the moment, man. I'm really here just to kill shit, like I told you. You know what I'm saying? I might have some PDX baller merch coming soon. Ah! You, know, you know what I mean? Best best team on the in the Northwest, baby. Y'all know what it is. But anyways, but other than that, I'm really just here. Like I like I told you, I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna buy a t-shirt. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm just really. I I'd rather support y'all shit um, and kill shit. You know what I mean? I owe, like I said, I owe a debt. I fucked up. HC1, I owe a debt. I'm just here to pay back. Uh, league owners will not hear me ask for shit. 
definitely. Until I feel my debt is paid. And I and I'll decide when I feel my debt is paid. You know what I mean? So so I just I'm just trying to pay back my debt and kill shit for for, for the Northwest, bro. Period. Because I know I owe. I know I owe y'all. Definitely, bro. Definitely. Yo, uh, y'all heard, yeah, where, where can we where, where where can we find you for the future fans and for the future fans and the current fans that know of you but don't know where to find you? Where can they find you at? So Facebook, uh Nate Darling. Uh, Instagram, uh, Coach Nate uh, underscore PDX. Definitely, I'm definitely gonna put that all when I when I finish editing all of this stuff up. I'm definitely gonna put your information at the bottom uh, for Instagram, yeah. etc. So we definitely got you. But can I can I get a get your bars up tag for my guy? Arrgh. Yo, shout out BA and get your bars up media. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey. Hey, y'all, y'all, y'all heard it from Nate, man. He representing. He, uh, he, he's about to. He's revamped and he's ready for y'all. So all y'all people that said that y'all can battle rap, y'all better look at his bl- blueprint and, and, and make it happen. But anyways, I'm gonna get at y'all. Y'all stay blessed, peace and love. And Nate, thank you for coming on, bro. All day, man. Shout, shout, shout out, BA, babe. Hey, let's salute. go. Ah! BA, BA. <laughs> all right, man. <laughs>